Yes, Ekene's advocacy seems to have pointed to where I'm going next. Where engagement is politicized, there is a, there's bound to be a fallout. MBA versus El Rufai, the fallout. The way you treat your leaders at home is how they will be perceived among the committee of nations. The resultant effect is the way the rest of the world would treat your citizens as we have seen with Nigeria. You cannot give your child a bad name and expect others to treat the child right. I'm not by any means denying us the privilege of holding our leaders accountable, rather advocating that we do so in a way that do not sell ourselves cheap before the rest of the world. The recent name and shame of Governor El Rufai through a badly orchestrated invite and uninvite event, though the body has denied that that was their intention, has elicited mixed reaction from within the NBA and outside. The governor has been accused of assaulting and intimidating lawyers and has no regards for court rulings, and most importantly, his poor management of the crisis in Kaduna. The governor was invited by the Technical Conference Planning Committee of the NBA as a keynote speaker at the annual general conference of the NBA 2020. The theme is stepping and stepping, and the question is, who is a Nigerian? The debate on Nigerian identity, on the national identity, with a special session focusing on the topic, am I a Nigerian? A debate on national identity, the indigenship citizenship conundrum. El Rufai is one governor who has had to deal with the issue of identity crisis, especially in the southern part of the state where he governs. Beside, he has the intellectual capital and the knowledge of the national questions being addressed. His ability in this regard is beyond question, and he has confidence to articulate his views. You may not like El Rufai's attitude and his lack of tact, but you cannot question his ability as a diligent and first-class intellect. A cursory look at some of the other invited guests will leave you wondering how they passed NBA integrity test. High-profile high cases involving prominent Nigerians always seems like a jamboree with the accused adoring regalia as if they are attending political rallies, knowing full well that the case, more often than not, will end up falling or failing on technical grounds. There is a need for complete overhaul of the criminal justice system and its complete independence if the sought respect must be earned. This will also ensure that the right people are voted into power as the judiciary will guarantee equity and fairness in dispensing justice. Judici the judiciary, they say, is the last hope of the common man. Um, um, I've been waiting, <laughs> <laughs> waiting <laughs> eventually <laughs> for this topic, <laughs> right from when you, you know, see him. I, I laugh when I hear people say, oh, Erufa is the most competent person to deal with this topic. And uh, the same people that are saying, Erufai wasn't given fair hearing. We are the same very people that were very happy when Okojo Ewela's, um, was it a honorary doctorate degree, was withdrawn by a university in America without listening to Okojo Ewela, simply because Nigerians felt she served in a government that was corrupt. The same people who were happy when Desiani's honorary doctorate was, was withdrawn without listening to her are the same people complaining today and politicizing the issue of invite and uninvite. A man invites you to his house for dinner, and then his children are complaining, we don't want to see this man in our house, or some of the children. And they took a vote, and at the end of the majority says, we don't want to see him. He says, oh, please, for certain reasons, I would want to withdraw that invitation. You say, ah, no, 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 no. You must give him right of fair hearing before you withdraw such invitation. Nobody is saying, if you had invited Erufai and refused him to speak, then it would have been a problem. But now you say, please, before the conference, some of my members don't, want here. don't, they wrote a petition and the vote was taken on it by the trustees and the organizers, by the Congress, and they felt, look, we don't want you to come. What's the big deal about uh, it? It can be a Very big odd. deal. The, well, no, let me no, finish no, quickly. Okay, okay. The issue is not whether Erufai can speak to the issue. The issue is the fact that it's a gathering of lawyers. Correct. And some people had said, we don't no, we don't want him. Yeah. And also, lastly, I would have said, okay, 
also uninvite others because the test you use to judge Erufai, they also have a taint of it. Mm. But unfortunately, these same people will tell you, when you say Buhari is selective in his, um, in his pursuit of anti-corruption, they say, well, at least let him even pursue some persons. Mm. Mm. We start from there. Okay. Okay. Morrissey, who was disinvited in 2008 because of his antecedent with the 2007 election, mm. The heavens uh, two wrongs don't make it right, but let me jump in quickly mm -hmm. and say, you know, I, 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 I agree to some extent that, but my problem with this is, is there no procedure? Before they invite him, can they not find a more orderly way of getting the feel? Because it's, there, it's there's no, something, there is a, a there's planning committee. And so the there's, planning committee rules out, these are the people who want so to why invite. Don't you, since you, and since then, you can be influenced and by then the when people. You circulate, yeah. when you circulate, when you circulate, whoever feels aggrieved at the planning stage, mm -hmm. after they had sent out... So, they, they shouldn't send they out shouldn't the invitation. Out the no, invite. because what happens is right. the planning committee is saddled with that responsibility. After they have done that, they report back to the general house. Hey, well, it, it's, it's open at that to, point that the general house is because what? No, no, no well, listen, listen. Let me, let me make this statement anyway. Mm. I think that there's something. I'm, I'm, I'm not against it in total, but I'm, I'm saying that. The, there is a name and shame element to this because by the time you've made it public that you invited him, some people are gloating that they have won it's against him. The same way and, but, 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 will withdraw Libras, a PhD wait, that Libras, they've given wait, to I don't you. think it's completely no. apolitical. No. Leave it. But let me get to my point, just like you got to yours. My, my point is, I don't like the way it was done. It, it was done as though they were trying to shame him. But I'm happy with the consequence. Simply because the Southern Kaduna people, they have been crying out for some attention. And finally, because of this ego that Aerofire has and how it has been shunned or slighted by this thing, we're now going to get some attention for that. So for me, I don't mind. I, I'm not saying that the end justifies the means, because I don't think it's something I want them to perpetuate. But in this instance, because these people are finally getting some attention, you see how now they've had a peace meeting. It, let there be no more bloodshed. And, and you know, so I don't think it's, and, and my own also preference is that all these other people, whether WK or OBJ, they should also disinvite them because they, they satisfy that I criteria. Do. That's my own position on it. Let me just quickly add. Or uh, uninvite uh, them. We should not lose sight of, yeah, I, I picked El Rufai, but I'm talking about our leaders. Be careful <laughs> how you rubbish our no, leaders. No, because they've already rubbished us. No, I don't think no, it's... No, no, they're rulers. 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 they are rulers 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 they are Look at what you're trying to portray, the Nigerians. Are, are you trying to tell me that these, are, these leaders are the examples that we want Nigerians to be when we know all the problems with each and every one of these leaders? Like Ikenet said, let's disinvite all of them and start the whole process again. Let people who have real track records, integrity, even they could be in, you know, foreigners, whoever we think they are, come and show us what it is to be, have an honest walk and have some kind of idea. There's so many examples of people that we can choose amongst Nigerians to come and give us a talk and tell us that, you know, what their own struggles are. Well, the end always seems to come too soon on The Advocate. However, The Advocate continues on our social media platform on Facebook, Plus TV Africa hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up on previous broadcast, go to plustv.com forward slash the advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time on the station, let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye-bye. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable.
There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.